Hello, and thank you for listening to the podcast of Holy Cross Lutheran Church. Holy Cross is a congregation of the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod. We are located in St. Cloud, Minnesota. This Easter morning, we have Easter service times at 6.30 a.m., 8.30 a.m., and 10.30 a.m. Our normal Sunday worship times are at 8 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. with Bible study and fellowship in between. And uh, thank you again for listening to us. I'm Pastor Zach. And so, as we... contemplate this day, the day of resurrection, first of all, I want to begin by saying, Alleluia, Christ is risen, he has risen indeed, Alleluia. But of course, we start with that joyful beginning, knowing that sometimes it takes a while, even for good news to settle in. I remember taking our kids on a surprise vacation, Tracy and I packed our bags and we put them in, in the back of the van, and, and the kids had all their bags in the back of the van, too. We told them that we were going to visit some friends and then run an errand, and we were in the car for hours. And they questioned where we were going, but they never quite put it together. We did start off by visiting friends, but then we drove a long time after that, much longer than a person would need to run some errands. And then as we got closer and closer, certain signs started to appear that this was not going to be a normal day. Our children noticed out their window that there were palm trees. And then we took a turn, and suddenly the ocean was in view. And they noticed all these things, but still didn't put it together. And finally, when one of our kids said we should vacation here, it happened just as we were about to turn into our hotel. And we had it on video. I could could watch that video all day just to watch the process, just to watch them process the wonderful news. They were going to swim in the ocean, eat at a dinosaur-themed restaurant, watch a show featuring pirates, and everything else. But it still took them a while to be convinced that they were actually on vacation. They said, maybe we should vacation here. And I said, we are. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. There's a delight in confirming good news over and over. Uh, Maybe it gets frustrating after a point to have to re-explain and restate things, but I'm not sure if it should. I mean, how often do we get an opportunity to build someone's heart up with good news rather than to break it with bad news? Mark chapter 16 is a joyful and frustrating chapter. It's joyful because Christ has risen just as he said frustrating because it seems like no matter what he does, the disciples just won't believe that he is alive. It will take a lot of work even after saving the entire world and dying and rising again to get anyone to believe that it has actually happened. The women at the tomb were supposed to tell the disciples to meet him in Galilee, but they did not believe the angel's message, so they said nothing and they were afraid. Then Jesus appears to Mary Magdalene. She believes And tells the disciples, but the disciples don't believe. Then he appears to two of the disciples, and they tell the others, but they still don't believe. Finally, Jesus appears to them, and they believe. And they are sent out to proclaim the resurrection all the way around the world. So, maybe you don't feel joy in your heart. Maybe you have a lot going on. Maybe you believe, but you are like the man who meets Jesus on the way to Jerusalem, who has a son who's possessed with a demon that nobody can cast out. And he says to Jesus, I believe. Help my unbelief. Our hearts are slow, and maybe they are slow because they've been through much. This might be where saying again and again the Alleluia's of Easter come in handy, or singing for the 20th times the words, He lives, in the hymn, I know that my Redeemer lives. By the way, have you noticed how many times we sing, He lives, in that hymn? It is not to beat the resurrection of Jesus to death, but maybe we just need to repeat that wonderful truth to our hearts many times before the dull, gray shroud of despair that covers our hearts is finally beaten out of us. Either way, Jesus displays this much to us, the way that he will lead us to joy over his victory over death. He is patient and kind. He will teach. He will reteach. He will tell us. He will repeat it. He will complete the good work that he has started in us. 
and he will stubbornly keep telling us the good news as much as is needed until the day that we finally believe for joy. Once again, I wish you a blessed Easter. Today is a wonderful day. Christ has risen. He has risen indeed. Alleluia. And I also want to, before I close, remind you that Easter is a season. It's 40 days. So maybe I should say this as well, that if you don't feel the highest heights of joy today, that's all right. Sit with the good news for a while. Let it settle into your hearts. You have time. Take it. Think about the resurrection of Jesus and let it work its way in so that you might also have joy over this. If you'd like to find out more about our congregation, you can go to our website, holy-cross.church, and you can find all of our service times and information about our ministries there. Once, once again, God's blessings to you on this Easter day.